Other news tonight, the search is on at this hour for a man accused of killing a three-year-old boy back in 2017, and he broke out of jail overnight. 17's Raphael Stroud joins us now with the latest. Raph? Tammy Tyrone Johnson is one of the two defendants in the shooting of Major Sutton in Bakersfield. He and David Palms somehow managed to break out of jail at around 1.45 this morning. Palms is back in custody, but hours later, Johnson is still on the run. The hunt continues after an early morning break from Laredo Jail near Shafter, with an alert sent across Kern County before sunrise. The Kern County Sheriff's Office is asking the public to be on the lookout for two inmates that escaped from the Laredo Justice Facility. To watch out for two documented gang members accused of gunning down a Bakersfield toddler in 2017. If anyone in the public does see them, do not approach them. Immediately call 911. Tyrone Johnson and David Palms broke out of Laredo just a few months away from being tried in the murder of three-year-old Major Sutton. The sheriff's office not revealing how they got out Wednesday, but detentions officers were seen scanning the rooftops long after the men had gotten away. But Palms didn't get too far, with surveillance video showing his arrest at a Dollar General parking lot in Shafter. But Johnson evaded capture. 17 News saw investigators at his family's home not far from that store, but there's been no word of his arrest. He's considered armed and dangerous. Court documents say Johnson kicked down the door to Sutton's apartment on Pershing Street before he and Palms sprayed bullets inside, killing three-year-old Major, wounding his five-year-old brother and his mother, who was pregnant. Allegedly, the victims of a hit by the East Side Crips, targeting a rival gang member who wasn't even at the home. The two had been in custody since 2018, along with Maisha Dale, who was accused of driving the men away after Sutton's family was shot. This escape comes almost a month since Dale died in custody. Her cause of death has still not been released by the coroner. What we still don't know is how they escaped, if they had help from the outside, and where Tyrone Johnson is now. Now these two were due back in court in July to see if the trial can begin. If we hear anything about Tyrone Johnson, we'll report it on air or online. Go to KGT.com or download the 17 News app. If you see Johnson, just call 911. In studio, I'm Raphael Stroud for 17 News.